Greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we are reading Leviticus chapter 16. As we go through this chapter and meditate, may the Lord help us and speak to each one of us. This chapter deals about the Day of Atonement. This outlines God's rules and procedures that, to, that were to be followed on the Day of Atonement. The Day of Atonement was a day when Aaron was to atone for himself and his entire family. Aaron was to enter the holy tabernacle on this day after he had bathed and put on his sacred attire, when he was to then bring a sin offering and a burnt offering to be sacrificed at the altar. A bull for the sin, a bull for the sin offering and a ram for the burnt offering were to be brought for sacrifice. Aaron's purpose for sacrificing the bull was to atone for the sins of his family. The Israelites were also directed to give him two male goats, one of the goats would be considered as a godly sacrifice, while other would be considered as a scapegoat. This chapter continues to detail the process that Aaron had to go through the Day of Atonement. After entering the meeting tent, he was to take off his linen clothes and wash his entire body with the water from a holy place. He could then put his clothes back on and offer the burnt offering for himself and for his people. From there, the skins and other parts of sacred, sacrificed animals were to be burned in the fire that is outside the camp. The, the man who burned the carcasses would have to cleanse himself and to clean himself before he could return to the camp. Then God told Moses that this purification ritual must be done every year to cleanse the Israelites from their sins. The next point we see, scapegoats. Before coming of Jesus, the people of Israel were instructed to select a live goat that would carry away their sins. Jesus became our scapegoat when he took our sins upon himself. The priest was to place his hands on his goat and confess over it all the sins of the people. He will lay both of his hands on the goat's head and confess over it all the wickedness, rebellion and sins of the people of Israel. In this way, he will transfer the people's sin to the head of the goat. Then the man specifically chosen for the task will drive the goat into the wilderness. As the goat, as the goat goes into the wilderness, it will carry all the people's sin upon itself into a desolate land. The next point we see, Jesus Christ bearing our sin. There are two goats in the stage of Day of Atonement ritual described in this chapter. One goat served its purpose by dying and the other by remaining alive. The first goat was killed as a sacrifice, its blood sprinkled on the atonement cover, tent of meeting and altar. The second goat bore the sins of nation on its head. Aaron laid both hands on his, on his beast while confessing all Israel's sin. This is the origin of the term scapegoat. The animal was led away, carrying all of their sins and was released in a remote place where it could not return to the Israelites' camp. Dear beloved, when Jesus Christ made atonement on the cross, he bore the sins of human race. For the Christian, all the guilt has been removed, and it will not return to them. Jesus died under the weight of our sins and God's righteous wrath, so that we might have forgiveness and have new life in him. This is a chart showing the contrast, the differences between the old and new systems of sacrifice. We can go through this for a while. The next point we see, Jesus Christ and the Day of Atonement. God did this to demonstrate his righteousness. Sin was never waved off, disregarded or left uncounted for. God upheld his righteousness and the worth of his name by requiring blood atonement for cleansing from sin. Justice shines in the way God kept his word to punish sin. Grace shines in the way God placed all our sins on Christ. Salvation is a free gift to those who who has kept faith in him, but the gift itself was not free. Atonement was purchased with the precious blood of Christ. Dear beloved, as the Lord is speaking through this chapter, let's be thankful to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who offered himself for our sins and made atonement for us. May the Lord bless this short meditation in the edification of our spiritual lives and continue to speak the remaining chapters of this book, Leviticus. Amen.